This is Feed Your Mind, and so the myth about gold being found at the end of a rainbow might reveal secrets of the firmament because whether it's intentional or unintentional, either way, when you look at that myth and you include the firmament in that myth, you start to see answers being revealed because really, how can you find gold at the end of a rainbow? Because a rainbow is like a holographic illusion. But when you look more into this, you understand as we discussed in my rainbow video that for there to even be a rainbow in the first place suggest a firmament above because even the bible says the firmament is a hard barrier like a molten looking glass so you need a glass or a mirror in order to create a rainbow in the first place so what would that mirror be that would be creating a rainbow? Well, it's most likely the result of there being a firmament above. And then you keep hearing all those things like breaking through that glass ceiling and stuff like that, that these politicians use. So the firmament would be a material that would be a reflective type material, perhaps, or a glass-like material. So that would definitely be included when thinking about how a rainbow is formed in the first place. So now we can see how you can possibly search for the end of a rainbow, which would be the clue. And it wouldn't be necessarily gold that you would find, but instead you can use this information as a clue where if you search to the ends of the earth, which you can't have on a globe earth, you can't have an end because it just goes in an endless circle, which is kind of like an earth trap. And some of you might have heard of the soul trap. We're going to get into that on my Feed Your Mind 3 channel. So make sure you're subscribed over there. Links in the comment section and description box. But you can kind of connect the two hypotheses because with earth being enclosed in a firmament or a terrarium, if you will. And they also say maybe the fallen ones are trapped down here with us under the firmament but either way with the firmament there could be an end to it now some people say it can go on forever on an infinite plane but also you have antarctica so we're in a section regardless no matter how large it is and at the end that would be antarctica we see how the sun moves in a circle so with the sun creating this circle which would be antarctica at the ends of the earth that would be where we would find for example the end of the rainbow if you will which would be at the end of the flat earth in the antarctic area so not saying you would find a pot of gold there, but you could metaphorically find value at the end of the earth. If you made it to Antarctica and you found the firmament, that in itself would be a finding that would be phenomenal and it would be more valuable than gold because what you would find would be proof of God's handiwork. And so the globe earth has everyone feeling like there's nothing to search for there's nothing out there to look for besides outer space which is something only they can control and they control it through false images and false hypotheses about what's above us and everyone just eats it up and buys into it but really the real search would be something that anyone could really do which would be to search this earth that we're actually on and they even say the oceans haven't even been explored completely so you have the oceans and the ends of the earth to search on a flat earth circle and it's right here right where we are right now and you wouldn't need a rocket ship to explore that so the globe traps the mind into thinking that it's an endless circle and people are upside down walking around so really the whole globe earth idea keeps people from seeking out what could be at the ends of the earth so this is the clue that i found in analyzing the end of the rainbow myth so one last thing i would say kind of like how the truman show is where they had truman in a fake place where he never thought to look outside and look to the ends of where he was and he ended up being a part of a mass production a television show so with truman they just convinced him that there's nothing to search for there's nothing out there on this earth everything's been explored already so that's kind of how the average person thinks is there's nothing out there nothing to explore so the average person is just like truman and they have no curiosity about what could be at the ends of the earth now this topic 
topic does kind of fall in line with what really is gold because with the actual rainbow myth with there being a potential gold at the end of the rainbow i did a video on gold and it was a documentary style video if you haven't checked it out i'll leave a link for that as well so i'll leave the rainbow video and the gold video because in that gold video we go into a lot of detail about what gold might actually be so make sure you check that out and support this channel by checking it out and leaving a like that's very important i also leave some links to my other channels my social media my feed your mind store my free email newsletters and much more if you would like to support this channel please donate as little as a dollar to help keep this channel online i have youtube membership i have patreon and i have paypal all links are in the comment section and description box i also have some giveaways in the comment section and description box as well so thanks for tuning in like i said please like comment share and subscribe this has been feed your mind signing off